Hello everyone and welcome back to Gainesville. Today we are taking a look onto some new updates about Hogwarts Legacy, a game that personally I've been expecting it for many years to come and it seems like now we will get it. They have released the date on their Twitter being 10th of February, for being the time when we finally get our hands on this game and get to experience from a Hogwarts student's point of view. A new video was released on Hogwarts Legacy Twitter presenting us a system where you have to choose what is that you want to say. Hopefully the system won't be like the one in the Telltale games where you make a decision and it doesn't really impact your story. Personally, I would want to be able to change my story as I play and have the things that I say being remembered by the characters and accounted in the Wizarding World. Also, a new feature that will be implemented is that you'll be able to link your Wizarding World account to your game and that's how you can be sorted into a house and also that's how you're gonna select your wand. Might be a way to do that in the game without a side but it was not confirmed and also why not have a test on their website. Find out what is your actual house and what is your wand and Patronus. The Patronus was not yet confirmed to be able to be linked with your game and used in there but if it will be, you can take a test for that one too and let the website do the magic and choose your Patronus wand and and house for you. I will leave a link in the description if you do not know the site and there is also a tutorial for how you can link your account to the game whenever the game comes out. Also we got some new footage where we can see more of the scenery they added some unique animations for each house Gryffindor Slytherin Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. Personally, I like more the Slytherin animation since it looks more badass, but none of them are actually awful. Also, we have some new footage of the customization seeing presumably some presets that you can use to start your character, some different detailed face shapes so you can create a character however you like. Seems like there is also a glasses options and some skin color settings in this freeze frame. Also having around 30 hair colors and around over 40 hairstyles based on the length of the sidebar. You can also have the possibility to add some unique facial features like freckles, moles, scars or markings to make your character look even more distinct. Also based on the Hogwarts Legacy FAQ, there will be no morality system, meaning that maybe you won't be able to go around and avada kedavra everyone and become a bad wizard or witch. Instead, you will have various quests and storylines that will influence the path you take. Again, thanks to the FAQ, we got a confirmation that in this game you won't be able to play Quidditch. However, you can still use the broom to explore and do some challenges throughout the Hogwarts castle. A big letdown though, I'm not the biggest fan of Quidditch but it would have been awesome to have this addition into the game. If you pre-order on any console this game, you get the Onyx Hippogriff mount and the recipe for Felix Felix's potions. Also, it will include an exclusive quest for the pre-orders on the console. No new quest for the PC user though. Doesn't matter if you get the standard, deluxe or collector's edition. Though, if you pre-order the deluxe or collector's edition, you will get the Onyx Hippogriff and on the deluxe you get 72 hours early access to the game and on the collector's edition, a life-size floating ancient magic wand with book base, a steel case and a kelpo robe as the cosmetic DLC. And the most important thing in this game is casting the spells. We got a glimpse at some of the skills, therefore I can make a list of the available spells based on the gameplay that we were provided. First ability is the good old Accio, the summoning charm. You can use it to complete puzzles and also pull enemies at you to engage into a diverse combo. Arrest the momentum is a spell in which you can slow or stop the velocity of an object or foe. Wingardium Leviosa the floating spell, used to make a skeleton or armor that tries to kill you float, but it can be used on people, it can be used on their clothes, so it would be funny to see some failed casting and make some funny animations for the ones at the end of the spell. Confringo is a curse spell used by duelist also called the blasting spell, which they cause the target to literally explode. Incendio, the fire making charm is a charm that conjures a jet of flames that could be used to set things alight. Defindo, or the Severin charm, is a charm used to precisely and accurately cut something. Used inappropriately, it can result in serious injury or even death. 
Also, this looks like the unsupported flight that Voldemort or Snape used it in the movies, but not evil. Most probably this will be used as an advanced dash upgrade, or just replacing the irregular roll. Descendo was the incantation of a charm that made objects fall or move downwards. It's a fun charm nonetheless, it can be used to rapidly get an object or person to descend to the ground, smashing them just like the Hulk did to Loki. I will not be bullied by that! The next one is Petrificus Tetalus, also known as the body freezing spell, seems like this is the main spell when it comes to the stealth part of the game. Hope that they are considering making stealth actual worth, like if you do stealth something needs to happen, not just like in other games, it doesn't matter if you kill or incapacitate the person you attack, the story or the world or how people sees you remains unfazed. Avada Kedavra Everyone knows this curse. Though, I think this one will be just in cinematics, or maybe in some quick action stuff, but because we don't have the morality system, we won't be able to just avoid our people on the street because we don't like their faces, so we will just have to deal with this and enjoy this in a couple of cutscenes and that will be it. My honest opinion about this game is that the game promises a lot. There are a lot of fans of Harry Potter, so this will hit a spot for them, since there was no real Harry Potter game from the Deadly Hallows, and that game was released in 2011. I hope the game doesn't flop though. A lot of games came out as potential award winners and ended up being the absolute trash no one ever looks back at. But I don't really have faith in Avalanche Softwares since they made some good games. That was all, hope you enjoyed and found out some new things. Here was Gainesville and I will see you guys into the next one. Take care.